Hi, I'm Stephanie. Hi, I'm Crystal. And we met in the I summer of summer like, guard. yeah, like 2011. And well, we've been friends since then. And I started talking to her about church and saying like, hey, do you want to come to church with me? It'd be really fun. I know you like it. Yeah. Right? You'd love the people there. And some of them go to our school. And, and then I told her, yeah, I would love to go. And her mom or dad was like, you can come. You're welcome to come with us. And that was like what really brought me because my grandma, she's not like a really church person. So I wanted to like, um, to like do something different on Sundays besides sleeping in. I wanted to like get up and, you know, experience this. So I did and it was like, I really like it, I like coming to church with Stephanie. I like staying over on the weekends with her, get away from my family. So I think, I, yeah, uh, I like being with her a lot. I think bringing her to church has brought us closer. We're able to talk with each other a lot more about different things like family, friends, school. We keep each other like up to date. Definitely every day we talk, we make sure we're all on the right track that how her family's doing, how our family's doing, how we can get them to like come to church and how we can change not just her life but everyone in her families and around us and their lives and see how God has like made a difference and he can do anything. I think if Stephanie didn't invite me to church I wouldn't be like nice to my grandma. I, I was like really mean to her. I didn't like help her out. But like now since she's like she did so much for me and my sisters that I help her out. I tell her if she needs any help just to count on me because I'm like the second oldest and I'm like a role model to my sisters so like I'm, I'm more with my sisters. I tell them like even if they don't want me to give them a hug I give them hugs, I tell them I love you, and they're like, ew, I'm like, I'm your sister, I'm here for you. If you're crying, if you need help in school, help in homework, I'm here for you because that's what big sisters are for. And like, back then, I wasn't like, interacting with them a lot, because I was like, uh, they're little, I don't want to be with them. But, like, um, I'm more open to them. And I like to be more open to them because I'm going to be leaving pretty soon. And I don't like, I want them to know that I'm here for them. I think both of us have given each other confidence in yeah. what we do. And we stand up for what we believe in. And like people in guard joke around about, oh yeah, you're praying. Like, oh, that's Jesus thing. You're a Jesus freak. And they're like, there's nothing wrong with it. Like, he's the one who gets you through everything, even if you don't believe him. But, like, when you look back and think about it, just, like, you'll remember us and be like, hey, like, they were there, and no matter what, they were always there for us. And they believed, and now, like, I'm going to start believing because of them. And it's just, like, it's just different to have someone there that you never knew you'd be this close to. love for like my grandma to come to see like I mean, she needs it she's been through a lot and I would love for her to come with me and my I just sister. want her to come so she can be more free more open so God can like stay with our family with all the struggles we've been through